forgiven you all. Thus saith the Lord, how to come out of your sins and how to keep the faith of Jesus to Christ. Yes. If you can't accept it, die. We're in the same condition. You come over here to America, South America, North America. We're in the same positions. You go over to India. Our people that are in slavery still in India are still in the lowest, in the ghettos, and in the slums, and being oppressed right. because we disobeyed. And we still in the fields. We still work in tobacco fields. We still work in sugar cane. We still working in the bean field. We still working, working, uh, working and doing hard labors in the field. Right. Read. Come shall thou be in the field. Uh huh. Come shall thou be. Come shall be thy basket and thy store. Uh huh. Come shall be the fruit of thy body. Stop. So the basket and our store meaning our businesses. There ain't nothing. What happened to Black Wall Street? What happened to our substance? What happened to our grocery stores? What happened to our black owned businesses? You know what you know what happened to them? The civil rights movement. Us wanting to be, sit around white folks, eat in their business establishments. Well, hold on, what happened to our establishments once we gave up our rights and wanted to sit into their establishments? And they don't give a damn about us. Right, right. right. So instead of us spinning amongst each other, we wanted to go amongst the other nations. Our forefathers fell with that. That was not a good thing. They shouldn't have done that because we had business. <laughs> I'd be glad if I sit right here and say I knew about this stuff for a long time because I didn't until probably about, maybe about two years ago, uh -huh. two or three years ago. I ain't start finding out until I read the Willie Lynch law. They started from that. When I read that, exactly. I started reading up on all this stuff. Now, some of this stuff I didn't really see. Yes. Hebrews chapter 8, verse 8. Read. For, you, for finding fault with them. For finding fault with Israel. Read. He said, behold. The days come, said the Lord, said God, read, when I will make a new covenant uh -huh. with the house of Israel. So the second covenant with God is not made with Christian, it's made with Israel, read, and with the house of Judah. So with southern kingdom and northern kingdom, we split into two kingdoms because of King Solomon's sin. So he's not making a, a covenant with all mankind. That's he's right. making the second covenant with Israel. Right. Read? That's right. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers, their ancestors, read, in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Sister, what we're teaching is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes. That's the right. God said that he's going to put his law in our heart, meaning we had to be cut off, Jeremiah 17 and 4. We had to be cut off from our nationality, from our inheritance, and then given false nationality giving false holidays like Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, man-made stuff. Read what you got. So we still being... Jeremiah 17! Well, we still in sin. We still in sin. So we've been we, in sin for a long time. But we got to come out of our sin. We got, we, we're slowly coming out of it. We're rising back up as a nation. That's why... If, if you was to Google Israelites, or if you was to go on YouTube, you'll see us in, in a lot of different countries and all over these states right here. Spanish, Spanish people don't associate with black people. They do in Israel. We the same. We the same people. The people that rise up and know that Israel and repent, we look at each other the same. But we look at our brothers and sisters as different because we don't know that we've been divided and conquered. Free. So God. Was Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And for thousands and thousands of years. No, 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 no. Our punishment is ending. This is we are rising up as people. God is waiting for His people to rise up and to repent. Right. But we don't get to that. I'm gonna show you because you you ask you ask a lot of good questions. Read. And thou, even thyself, uh -huh. shall discontinue. What is it? What does it mean to discontinue? No longer do it. It's to stop. To That's cease. Right. So read again. And thou, even thyself. So you, Jeremiah, in your people, read, shall discontinue, shall lose, or stop, or, or no longer be, read, from thy inheritance. What comes along with your heritage? The land. What land are you from, sister? What land do, did we come from? You said we're from Africa. Well, where did we originate before we got into Africa is the question. A place called Kemet. A place called Kemet. Which Kemet is now is, called Egypt. Well, we were enslaved in Egypt, but we're not indigenous to Egypt. Right. 
That will make us the Egyptian, not the Israelites. We are the Egyptians. We're not Egyptians. Let's get it. We're going to get some okay. understanding. Okay. Get out. Get out. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, so us calling ourselves Egyptians is this right here. Read. Shall discontinue from thy inheritance. We shall what? Discontinue from thy inheritance. Although we built the pyramids, we're not the ones that originally inhabited that land. Oh, okay. We were just All enslaved right. in Egypt before any other place. Read. That I gave thee. So God gave us an inheritance. He gave us laws. He gave us Passover, Tabernacles, Pentecost, the, the Sabbath days, the new moons. He gave us a dress code, woman in the dress and not pants. Dressing modestly with hair wraps. He gave you jewels. He gave us men with a beard on the face. Fringes. He gave us royal apparel. He gave us his law, statutes, and commandments. But so we discontinue from knowing what God we serve. We discontinue from knowing what man we descended from, which is the man of Jerusalem. We are the Jews. That's right. Jews just mean that you come from the tribe of Judah. So-called African Americans are the tribe of Jews. People living in Israel. We'll get to that. That's a one. That's a one. One million dollar uh, question that you have. We're not over there. Because we sinned. So God gave us an heritage, which God called us the Israelites. That's Mankind called us niggers and coons and spicks and wetbacks. Mexican, Puerto Rican, which just mean port of riches. That's not a nationality. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Ephraim. That's right. You're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. You're an Israelite from the tribe of God, you so-called Native American Indian. Which got you, and you got your land stolen, taken from you because of our sins. Read. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. To what? To serve thine enemies. So meaning in lack of everything, to build up kingdoms for the other nations. We build up this people, so we have to do what? Serve this people. The so-called white people. The most bound people on the earth. That's right. But now they're telling us uh, that, that, that we are the ones that rape and rob and murder. But how is that today? When what we learned is from you. Because what you imposed on our ancestors. This is the Egyptian. The people right here. These are the Egyptians. The original Egyptians. Original Egyptians. Right. The people living in Egypt now are Arabics. They're right. Ishmael. Right. According to the scripture. According right. to the biblical name. That's the right. biblical name is Ishmael. But we were the original inhabitants of that, of that place. See this? These are these are the Egyptians today. The people that live down in the um, um what's it? Uh, Sudan. The Sudan. Sudanese and Watusi. Yeah. Yep. The Sudanese and Watusi. The Sudanese and Watutsis are the original Egyptians. That's right. We are not Egyptian. God made us better than the, uh, the That's Egyptians. Right. But where do we come from? Let's get it. Matter of fact, let's see how we got into it. And someone give me the Bible dictionary to give me him too. I mean, give me, actually give me from Babylon to Timbuktu. Give me from Babylon to Timbuktu. I know it. Move on, I know so, it. So, but, okay, but now listen. Yeah, okay, so you okay, know but now, okay, but now, hold on, now, hold on. Uh -huh. Now, he does make some wonderful statements. Uh -huh. Absolutely wonderful. Uh -huh. There's no question about that. But even he himself, he had to explain a little bit more about if the Bible is real, if it is truly inspired by God, and he made all these references to black people being in the Bible. Have you ever heard of a book called The Book of the Dead, The Egyptian Book of the Dead? It's garbage. Let's that's, 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 get to I'm this listening. point right there. First, give me, uh, you, I, want, I, want, I want that, but I want Luke. Luke first, and then we're going to precept it with Babylon and Timber too, to get some understanding. Let's get some understanding of how we got into Africa, because we're not indigenous to Africa. That's a common misconception oh, we, throughout oh, the world. No, we, we, now, we gotta be. Israel is connected to Africa. Of course, of course. It is considered Northeast Africa to be technical. They like to say that it's the Middle East to separate it. It's so, just the land so, of the black. So your whole knowledge of chemistry, so you're just saying we're not connected at all? We're, no, we're not. We're not. We're Israel. We're the Israelites. That's right. We're not committed. We're not none of so, those things. So Israel is, is black. Kemet is black. There's no question about that. There's, no, there's no question about that. First, it's all black. First, let's see. Let's see. Ham is the father of the, the people that live in Africa. 
we live, Matt, and, and the land that we come from is Israel, but it was called the land of Canaan first because the Canaanites, which are Africans, it was actually mm -hmm. their land that God gave us. Mm -hmm. So it was part, it is part of Africa, it's considered Northeast Africa to be technical. But let's get some understanding of the people that descend there. The biblical name is him. No yeah. So, so, so yeah. we can't be African and Israelites too? So, so we can't be African and Israelites too? So we can't. There's no such thing as an African because Africa is named after white man, Leo Scipio's Africana. That's right. We don't descend from Africana, so we're not African. And we're not Hamites. We don't get that. The, you know, the rest of the world knows that we're not Hamites. The Hamites that sold us into slavery understood that we're not Hamites. They know it's a difference between us and them. Right. Read. And God says that there's a difference. We're going to get that too. Read. Ham. So Ham. The, read. The youngest son of Noah. Uh -huh. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Stop. So Noah had three sons. Ham, Shem, and Jack. Ham is the youngest son. Read. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. It was a great flood. So he was one of the eight people to live through that flood. So there was Noah, his wife, Ham, his wife, Shem, his wife, and Japheth and his wife. That's eight people told. The whole family lived through the flood in the ark. Read. He became the progenitor. So Ham became the progenitor, read, of the dark. Races. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So Ham is the father of the dark races. Read. Not the Negro. What? Not the Negro. What? Not the Negro. Not the people from the transatlantic slave trade. Right. Not Check those it out. people. But read. But the Egyptians. So the Egyptians. Egyptians. Kemet. Mizraim. The Egyptians. Read. Ethiopians. Ethiopians. Kush. Read. as them people. Right. Those people are Hamites. Right. We That's are right. the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. The difference between us and them. We come from two different ancestry. We just have to look very similar. We look similar. That's why we hid in, in Egypt. That's why Christ stood hid in Egypt as a baby. Right. Let's read. Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. Read. Read. But against any of the children of Israel, the children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, read, shall not a dog move his tongue. The dog meaning the other nations. Just like Christ called the, the woman a dog in Matthew. Yeah. Meaning he called her another nation. He called her, she's not of the children. Hey, brother and sister, y'all the Israelites according to the scripture. That's you gotta repent and come back to God's laws. Read. Against man or beast. So shall not a dog, meaning the other nations, speak against the men or our animals. Read. That ye may know uh -huh. that the Lord do put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Right. God himself said we are better than the Egyptians. That's right. But now, wait a minute. We try to say because of our ignorance is because we've been cut off from our nationality. We think we are the Egyptians. No, we the Israelites. God says we're better than the so-called white man. God says we're better than the so-called African. God says we're better than the East Indian, the Arabics. God says that Native Americans, Blacks, and Hispanics are the greatest people on the earth. That's, That's right! Because we're the ones that keep the commandments. Because we're the ones that love him and he love us in return. Read. Luke. So let's see how we got to Africa. Luke 21 and verse 20. Read out. And when you shall see Jerusalem uh -huh. come past with armies. So when Jerusalem is surrounded by armies, read. Then know that the desolation thereof. Desolation means destruction. Read. Thereof is nigh. Meaning near. So your destruction is come to you. It's near. Read. Then let them which are in Judea uh -huh. flee to the mountains. Run to the mountains, read. And let them which are in the midst of it. The mountains are the the, 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 the pyramids. We ran to the pyramids, read. Depart out. So everyone that's in the center, in the middle, and in the city, depart, leave Jerusalem, read. And let not them that are in the countries uh -huh. enter there into. So the people in the surrounding areas of Jerusalem don't come into the city. Or the people in the surrounding areas of Judea don't come into the city. Read. 
For these be the days of vengeance. Whose vengeance? God's vengeance had to come on Israel for our disobedience. That's Meaning right. what Moses wrote about us going into slavery and what the prophets wrote about us going into slavery. Right. Read. That all things which are written may be fulfilled. Meaning we would go into slavery on slave ships with yokes of iron upon our neck and be taken to another land. Right. That had to happen. Read. But woe unto them that are with child. So destruction. Woe means destruction to them that are with babies. Because you're trying to nurse your baby, you gotta find baby. And you're trying to hide from the army. Which army we'll figure out which army it was read. And to them that give suck uh -huh. in those days. Meaning breastfeeding. Give suck meaning that you got a baby that's breastfeeding. Read. For there shall be great distress in the land. Great, great, great what? Distress in the land. Uh-huh, read. And wrath upon this people. So distress in the land, meaning there's going to be a lot of murder. There's going to be a lot of crying out, gnashing of teeth by our, from our people. So read. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. So they shall be defeated in war. Read. And shall be led away captive into all nations. By slave ships. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. They came over here on slave ships. Some of us, a lot of us were already over here were called Native American Indians. We were Africans here. Okay. Remember we discussed there's no yeah. such thing as well, Okay, we discussed it, but that don't mean what I believe. Listen to what I'm saying. Okay, hold on. Listen to what I'm saying, because we're the teachers, okay, you're the okay. student. True. We were already on this side you of the understand. world. You people really think that Christopher Columbus discovered America. People really think that. We, it, his brother, it, it, listen, but, but here's we were what, already here's what he here. saw when, when, he, when he got here. This is what he saw. In, in his journal, he saw black men, yeah. Africans. He, he recognized them because he was trained. Not to Africans, Africans but the Negro. Right. You gotta get it to you gotta you gotta you gotta wipe out that 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 mindset. You got it from your oppressor. He didn't see Africans. He saw Negro, which are the tribe of God. We understand it. Okay, okay. That were already here. They were already over here. So all of us didn't come on those slave ships. We all didn't come on. Brother, look at the sun. Look at the I, sun. I got you. I got you. I got you. Blacks, Hispanics, to Native American I got you, Indians. I got you. This, this is the choice that I, that we that God Himself gave our people. You can go alone, join with the Caucasians because they run in the world and because they are in power right now, and then die when our power comes. That's the option. You can submit to God, know that you're an Israelite, repent, turn back to His law, statutes, and commandments with the faith of His Son, the Black Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Keep the commandments. Know that the Scripture says that the next world to come is Israel, and we'll prove it with Scripture. Or you can go and join forces with the other nations. It's coming. It's coming. We're we obedient. That's no, that's weird. No. You see that beard? You got. You see that beard that you got marred? You're not supposed to do that. You see, you ain't got no fringes. You're not supposed to do that. You know that that pork sandwich you had the other day? You wasn't supposed to eat that. You know that wife? You, you know you know that woman that's up under the bed? She's not supposed to be there. So we're being punished. Yes. And we've been punished. Let's for the see. Past, read what you got. Past what? Job. A long, long time since we've been time. a nation. Not just hundreds. Of, not just right. this captivity. Multiple captivity. So you telling me that this God? Yes. This God. This is a short prayer period of time with the Most High God. We have eternity to rule but the for earth. Us, it's right. a lifetime. It's not a lifetime. This is a small part of time for us. Yeah, for man, us. This is a lifetime for you. Yeah. But this is a small affliction on me. That's, that's right. right. Because the great, the greatness that the Most High God prophesied for our obedience is what we're looking forward to. That's a lifetime. So that's that's right. So, Read. So once again, Job. Let's see what the Bible says. Job chapter nine, verse twenty-four. Read. Get out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The who? Right. The hand of the wicked. So the earth is. Giving to the wicked because we fell from grace. That's because right. we didn't keep the commandments. Bring it because up. we wasn't obedient to the most high God. Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Who are the judges? The Israelites. That's he right. covered our faces. He made us Caucasians. He made Christ a Caucasian. He made God Himself a Caucasian. That's right. He said that He's chosen the chosen people and He's living in the land. So He covered the judges. What are we doing right here? We're judging our people. We're giving you all, thus saith the Lord, how to come out of your sins and how to keep the faith of Jesus the Christ. Yes. If you can't accept it, die. I just, yes. well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, with you. hold on. That's I, it. I want to live with you now, hold on. Hold on. If you want to live with us, because okay. if you want to live with us, keep God's commandment. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.